Hi, it's Sarah Ellen. So what is your heart full of? Jesus says in Luke 6, 45, that the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. My question to you is, what is your heart full of? Is it full of football, food, your car, the gym, a new hobby, your new diet, your favourite pastime, or is it full of God? Does God have your attention? And how much of your attention does he have? Is your desire to love him with all your heart? Maybe you haven't the room. Maybe too many other things have gotten in the way. We are in the times at the moment that are so different from any other. Separation is from other people that it doesn't have to be from God. Let us turn to him for he is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the hope we seek for. He is the peace and understanding and it can only come from him. He is the giver of wisdom. He is the king of kings. He is the head of the church. He is the righteous judge. He is the prophet of all prophets. He is the cornerstone. He is the word, the wonderful counselor, prince of peace your healer, your provider, your creator, the lily of the valley, Lord of Lords, Rock of Ages, King of Glory, Almighty God, Lord of Hosts. He is the deliverer, the potter, the gardener, the saviour, your buckler and shield. He is a merciful God, gracious God, faithful God. He is the consuming fire the defender, the redeemer, the comforter, the teacher, a God of love, God of glory, Lion of Judah, man of war, Lamb of God, light of the world, father to the fatherless, husband to the widow, the way, the truth, the life, bread of life. He stills the storms, a sleepless God, eternal God, powerful God, compassionate God, a worthy king, a strong tower, an advocate, our best friend, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient, a mighty one in battle, glorious in holiness, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end, answers to prayer, the glory and lifter of our heads, our High Priest, the glory, the glorious one. He's the promise keeper, light in the darkness, and so much more. So Daddy God, Help us to make room for you, to see you more of who you truly are. Make us aware of opportunities you have given to us for what you want us to do in us and through us and in me. Lord, show us the way and have your way in us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful day. We had, uh, we had a glorious salad today. We went out yesterday in our walk and we found some wild garlic. How did we know it was this? Because when we picked it, we scrumpled up the leaves and 
it smelled of garlic. So that's how come we knew what we were going to be eating. It was mustard garlic. And we also got some um, uh, berry shoots, uh, blackberry shoots, um, young shoots. We took them and we got some young nettles, leaves, and we made a salad with lettuce and tomatoes. We got some mint from the garden. We got some rosemary from the garden and it all added to a glorious meal that our bodies just craved for. And we didn't realise how much we wanted it and needed it. So we're grateful for the walk yesterday, the finding of these wild things and the eating of them. So thank you, Lord. Find something that makes you happy, makes your heart full of, and make sure it's God. Bye. See you soon.